Today's video is sponsored by you, the Room Sixers who have joined the Patreon page or purchased some of my music. Because of you, the videos will get better, and eventually, some cool things will be coming uh, your way. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and <clears throat> you people are nuts, you know that? Thank you very much for sending me all the birthday greetings. Uh, I, I made a separate video where I thanked you all, and it's here. But <clears throat> today, something a little different. I mentioned in that video that I got some birthday presents, and one of them was for Room 6. One of them was a piece of gear. Look at this. There's some made in China, no branding on it. I don't know what brand it is yet. Ring light cell phone stand thing. My wife got me thinking maybe it'll improve the quality. As you can see, this is the middle of the day. I got a little bit of light bleed over here. I apologize in advance, but um, I'm gonna make the best of it. What I will do is run this thing through its tests uh, and I'll, I'll put a link in the description, you know, where you can get it if you decide that you, it's worth uh, your time and money. And uh, hopefully it was worth my wife's. We'll see. So stick around. Uh, I'm going to own a bit, a bit of kit. I've always wanted to do one of these things. So, uh, oh, I need a sharp implement. Haha. -ha. I have refrained from opening this, from checking it out, until this video. I honestly have no idea what's waiting for me. Okay. All right. We have mount. Sounds dubious. We have the mount for the mount. So far, nothing weird. There we go. It's all about presentation. We have and stand. So, so far, everything looks right. Then we have the most important part, which is, I'm guessing, the ring light. Oh, and of course, the user manual. Pff, toss that. Let's get into each of these. Um, I can't tell you how awesome it is that my wife actually took the time and effort to find this for me because it wasn't something I was looking for. Where's the door? Okay, so there we go. Promising. Uh huh. It is a ring light. All right. Um, let's start with. The, wob the the shaky, shaky, possibly broken thing. Okay. Car pillow hook. Is that what they're calling this? Okay. Interesting. Some sort of socket and ball option. So that's gonna hopefully compression fit in there without breaking. I'm not sure what this little clip is for yet. And I'm gonna take a quick pause because my dog is pawing at my leg. I'm back. Oh, such demanding mistress, my dog. Okay. So as I was saying, got a ball and socket thing and this some sort of Okay, thing that clamps on, feels pretty tight. That's a good sign. I'm not sure yet. Oh, okay. There it goes. Ah. There it goes. That, so that fits, hooray. Snaps in satisfyingly. Got some good gimbal, or well, not gimbal, but range of motion. Pops out okay. So far, so good. This is not very cushy. But it also doesn't feel very flimsy, which is good. So, this is just to secure this on. 
but this doesn't seem to expand. Oh, okay, spring loaded. Ooh, I was worried there for a second. So that looks like it would fit most phones. Some of your bigger ones, some of the chonky boys wouldn't fit necessarily, but there's ways and there's ways. Okay, we'll see if that's too tight. Okay, so we've got this and this and this, bit by bit, putting it together. We've got more loose parts, always a good thing. Oh, oh, so what is the purpose of the two different types? Oh, I get it. This clamps onto something. This, if you're hearing weird noises, by the way, my wife and child are making weird noises at my dog. Sometimes I live in a zoo. Does that go there? No. Does. Hmm. Boss is thus. This is a. <gasps> no way. We're not worthy. It's a remote camera button. How does that work? That's just a wrist strap. How does. Oh, there must be an, there must be an app you can download that you push this and it will maybe start recording. Ooh. That could be a game changer. Does this go in here? Maybe? No. Aha. Goes in here. This must be for mounting on the tree pod. And for those of you that are wondering and probably commenting, why don't you just look at the instruction manual? Where's the fun in that? I have a disparate grouping of pots. And uh, yeah, so far I'm having fun. Hope you are too. I like getting parts where I have to figure out where to put something together when it's not like car related or something. <laughs> when it's not something I need to get figured out now. All right, the tripod. If anybody's ordered a tripod before offline or online rather, it's always dubious. But this seems pretty good. One of the problems is if you tighten too tight on these type of uh, fast or, or tighteners, you can strip it. But so far, so good. We've got oh, good little clamps like this. I not sure that's going to be easier, but I'm not sure if it's going to be better. So we go one. Whoops, one. Pink. Two. And that's it. So, all told, the height's going to be, it's not going to be high enough for me to, do, to use it standing, but certainly sitting. And of course, you can always put it on a stack of books or something, for those of you that still read books. So, we've got a little knob here to adjust tension on the this one, and a little knob here. Okay. So far, so cool. All right. And then... Into the meat of the thing. It's got, oh, look at this. Little buttons for on off, plus or minus brightness. And I don't know what the, the there's like a selfie mode button kind of. I'm not sure how that works because there's only lights on one side. All right, I need to take another pause because now my dog is pawing at the door. And I'm back. So, from here, oh, it's USB. That's, <clears throat> I'm a little confused by this because uh, number one, it, it has a cool little, you know, button option here. You've got power, plus or minus brightness, I guess. And what looks to be a selfie mode button, I'm not sure how that works because there's only lights on one side of this thing. My concern is, it's apparently powered by USB and I don't see anything for USB. It, I think this actually plugs into a computer, which would complicate matters a little bit, but not, not totally. So yeah, when next you see me, 
Uh, this will be together, and I will be attempting to make it work. And I lied. I'm not there yet. Found out a couple more interesting things, and I thought I'd just get a close-up of the uh, user manual. Yeah, yeah, I used it. So this thing actually has some cool features. The only negative I can find so far is that the USB thing, but I've got to work around on that. So there's they're calling the tripod apparently has a built-in selfie stick that removes so you can you know be one of those people also you've got three light modes 10 level brightness okay that is what that little button that looks like a selfie mode button is it's to compare <laughs> control the lightning brightness as it says in here you've got a apparently it is uh got a clip for phones and it's got a clip for sports cameras and what they mean is uh GoPros, basically. That's what the picture looks like if you look right there. Whoops, sorry. Be whip. Okay. So, when I took a closer look at things, suitable for most USB port. Nowhere on the box does it say that. So, that's a little weird, but I've got to work around. And uh, like I said, next time you see me, this thing will be set up and I'll be doing comparisons. Okay, it took some doing, but I found a, a dark room in my house, which is the bathroom. Apologize for any little echo. Um, and also, it, it's going to be a small room. Smaller room than room six or the kitchen where I normally am filming. So it, take all that with a grain of salt. Take all that into, into factoring. Um, when you see the different lights, I'd love your comments. Would love for you to tell me what you think is the best setting for me uh, for my face and for general. Also, please let me know what your lighting situation is, is all about. I'm kind of digging this so far only because um, I'm used to ring lights that you clamp on a phone or that, you know, lights from sides. This is just above the phone, which is right here. And it's all like a compact thing. So as, as long as it holds up, I'm excited. So here we go. The lights are going to go out. Then I'm going to turn it on and we're going to try just the plain old light. In three, two, one. And here comes the light. And that is the brightest setting. So right away I can tell I've got light up here, but my face is down here. So I think I'll still be using some fill lights on the sides. But this is number 10. This is the white light. Here's the blue light, eh. and here's the fluorescent office lighting. I'm not a fan of that. So I think it depends on the, where I'm at actually, but it's nice to have options. So this is 10 at white light. There's nine, there's eight, there's seven, there's six, there's five, four, there's three, and there's two, and there's one. Wow, one actually, at least with my camera here, seems to really work. It's diffuse light. It's not as bright as I, uh, as, as number 10 is. So I'm with blue lighting on number one. Meh. Okay. Looks like many, many YouTube videos. So, um, what do you think? I gotta say, <clears throat> I'm surprised. Just a, some no name. I still don't know the name of this thing. It's, uh, yeah, I'm looking at the, the paperwork and the, the boxes, and near as I can tell, there's no brand name on this. So I will definitely put the link down below if you're interested in this. I know it didn't cost a whole bunch because my wife bought it for me, and we have a shared checking account, so I know how much money we have. and We don't have, like, super fancy rig kind of money, but this thing is really, really impressive, I have to say. Um, I wish I had a brand name to shout out and maybe get a sponsorship, but let's see, uh, what five? So there's five. Okay. Okay. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to experiment and actually record and, and edit and, and experiment a couple different ways here, but I have a feeling I'm going to be like five and under on most things. Just because um, 
of the other lighting options I have, this is the the main, the brightest one. It's just really nice that if I need to, then I can turn it up to, to 10, not 11, but to 10. One little note, um, earlier I showed how you can, you know, the, uh, the, the cell phone holder, which they give you two, like I said, they give you two plus an adapter for um, like a GoPro, but these things screw to the very top of the tripod, that's where the ring light goes. What's really cool is that I have multiple, if you have the adapter for a microphone stand to, um, actually, I have one right here. This little adapter here, a few bucks online, transforms a microphone stand into, a standard microphone stand into a cell phone holder if you have, you know, one of those that fits on this. So there's a lot of options here. Um, hopefully this is going to make the videos look better. I know my white balance has been a little weird, um, and I've, I've, I've done the best I can, but I, I'm really, I owe my wife a big thank you and a big kiss. And apparently, some, it just went out. I don't know why the, why the light go out. Oh, wow. This thing drains one of these. Okay, so that's good. That's a good tip. Um, don't do it on battery power if you're doing more, more than like 10 minutes. Um, thanks for watching. I hope that this was somewhat informative and I hope you enjoyed. Obviously, I am still learning about this whole unboxing product review thing, but really appreciate you. If you want to see more videos like, like this and the other stuff I do on this channel, click in the corner. If you want to subscribe, you know what to do. Really appreciate you. Please, please like, share, and subscribe. It does help the channel. Um, and also, exciting news is coming up about possible merch.